Male receptionist. Oh, uh, what did you call me? No, not you, me. I'm a male receptionist. Okay. I just wanted to assure you that I am, in fact, a man working in what may be considered a traditionally female role. Good for you, I guess. Thanks. I'm also a little too old to be working in an entry-level position, so I may have made you feel uncomfortable. Are you uncomfortable now? Uh, no. But I should probably go. Have fun. I'll be right here. Hello, Helena. Oh, hi, Tony. How are you? You thought you had avoided me. But now, here we are. Another awkward situation guaranteed. No, not at all. I am in a, a little bit of a hurry, but we can talk. Should we talk about television shows? We could. Did you watch anything interesting last night? Unfortunately, I don't own a television. Oh. My primary source of entertainment is actually playing text adventures based on the life of Marie Callender. Wow, Marie Callender had adventures. I didn't even know she was a real person. Yeah. You enter a kitchen. There is a whisk. What will you do? I guess they're not so much adventures as they are pot pie recipes. Well, that sounds fun. Sure. Plus, it's a real conversation killer. Cue the uneasy silence. Okay, I should get back to work now. Me too. Oops, already here. In reception. Forever. Okay, I'll see you later. Of course. Whenever you walk through the lobby or get a cup of coffee, uh, I'll be watching. <laughs> Male receptionist. Would whoever owns a blue 97 Toyota Celica with a bumper sticker reading, ask me about my grandchildren, please call the front desk. I'd like to talk to you about your grandchildren. I have prepared several questions, some in the form of riddles, and prizes will be awarded for each correct answer. So put on your thinking caps. Call the front desk, please, and thank you. Hi, got a package for Mr. Hamilton in marketing? Sure thing. Just gonna need you to sign in for me. Here's a pen. No. I know what you're thinking. What's that? Too bad I'm not a female receptionist. Otherwise, we could be flirting right now. Yep, too bad. Probably the one bright spot in your day. Chance to talk to a pretty young female receptionist. Instead, you get me. Sucks. Where do I take this? Oh, you want to back away from the creepy guy behind the desk. That's me. And head down the hall, take a right at the kitchen, continue past the utility closet where I cry during my lunch break. And it's the third door on your left. Can't miss it. Thanks. We'll talk more on your way out. I'll tell you something tragic and overly personal, and you'll feign concern. Attention, co-workers. It is time for my daily haiku. Today's poem is entitled, My Mother's Hands. Cold porcelain wings. Settling silently now. Why do you hate me? That concludes today's daily haiku. Friendly reminder, ladies, I am single, and I'm available for discreet encounters and dating. Hey, Charlie. I know you're down there. Hey. I uh, just... 
Looking for a contact lens, I drop. You wear glasses, Charlie. So I do, Tony. So I do. Very clever of you, very perceptive. <laughs> so how are you doing, Tony? Well, since you put a block on the internet at work, I've had to curtail my posting activities on WebMD. I'm the moderator of the Anemia Forum, as you're well aware. I've had mononucleosis for over 15 years. Ah, I told you, that's best left for you, off hours. Funny story, they call mono the kissing disease. I actually caught it from a used Halloween mask. Okay. I've never kissed anyone. Right. Also, my ventriloquist dummy got stolen out of the back of my car last night. So that's another dream deferred. Wow, that's just too bad. I gotta go. See you later. Of course you will. This is the only exit to the building. You take care, you son of a... Just take care. May I receptionist?